So, uh, passion flower, uh, Passiflora incarnata. Um, please note that the species is important. There are many poisonous varieties of passion flower. Um, they're all very, very beautiful and amazing. Um, but yeah, the one that we use medicinally, that I know to use medicinally in my training is incarnata. And uh, passion flower is sedative. It's antispasmodic for the nervous system, especially for nervousness with heart conditions. It relaxes held muscle tension. Um, it's helpful for insomnia and circular thinking, tension headaches, uh, opioid withdrawal. I use that a lot for opioid withdrawal processes. Um, it can decrease your heart rate. Um, so you wanna be careful if you have really low blood pressure uh, because it can make you feel faint. It's not the best fit, um, Nervine, for people with really low blood pressure. And also, you don't want to do large doses if someone has sleep apnea, which is kind of tricky because a lot of people who have sleep apnea don't know they have sleep apnea. Um, but if they have an adverse response to passion flower, that might help clue you in that they might want to investigate the possibility that they have sleep apnea. Um, and tincture and tea are the ways that I use passion flower. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruna Morshaw of Well Deep Remedies. Leave a comment below about what you learned from this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the caption for a link to sign up for my mailing list for more free educational content from me, a disabled femme clinical herbalist. The herbal first aid class handouts that accompany these videos are also linked in the caption and available for purchase. Visit welldeepremedies.com for more. Thank you, and ta-ta for now. Bye.